Okay, everybody, this is Bugsy here. Coming in, coming at you loud and loud and clear in the void room. And I just saw the new Lars it leaked. I, it leaked. I'm sorry. I was weak. I don't know whether that's the episode they're showing right now, or is that just, or did I just watch it early? Either way it goes. Oh, I hate this episode. I hate this episode. I hate this episode. Like, I, I it's because I hate Lars. Because he's so detestable. Like, romantic Scrooge tried to get me to like Lars. Me, I, I can't. I, I fucking can't. I, I tried. I tried so hard to like this episode, but you know, like Steven's being so nice and everybody's cool with it, and yeah, at the end it kind of has a little hopeful note for Lars and Sadie, but I have a little something to submit to all of you. I think Lars and Sadie fucked, like, honestly. I They didn't have to say it in so many words, but you can kind of tell that Something during Steven's little barn adventures they've been doing a little something. You can I can just tell these things, guys. But the thing is, Lars is an asshole. Like the greatest he's the great asshole. Like Steven just Steven just tries to help him. And the motherfucker always wants to be so fucking so fucking detestable to everybody. You know, even fucking Ronaldo. I mean, I even hate Ronaldo too. I mean, if I could, if, if like they were, if like, if I had, like say like if I had my cast powers in Steven in Steven in the Steven Universe show, and I could like go into that universe, I'd have those two fight to the death and kill each other, and it'd be the goriest thing I ever possibly could possibly do. But. Since that isn't happening, oh god, I wish in my dreams, in my dreams I wish. But, other than that, I didn't enjoy it. Well, I mean, the episode was nice though, Bugsy. I mean, the end was. Yeah, but like, Lars acts all different, uh, different private, he acts all fucking different and like public and freaking all oh, lovey w to say to you in private. I'm like, okay, it's cool to have like, a part of you kind of sign up, but you know, Lars does that shit where he just wants people to like him, but yet, again, he's such an asshole, how can you? He's like, you know, that's why people like the the you me instead of the actual me. I'm like, maybe, maybe because you're always such a fucking asshole to everybody you come in contact with, Lars. I don't know, maybe that's something that you need to work on as a person. Like you, I'd have been like, I'd have. That was, I was in, no, so I was in that part. I'd have beat the shit out of Lars. Like, as soon as he would have been like you, I'd be like, you want to do something, Lars? You want to do something right now? Because I'll fuck you up. I will fuck you up, Lars. Better back away before this gets fucking violent, and your ass, your head will go up your ass. And I'm talking like non-painful. Like. I'm talking about the most painful thing I can ever possibly do to you, and probably turn you into a pretzel. Holy shit, Bugsy, this episode just got you that mad. I hate that motherfucker, it's like, it's like, again, it's like if you gave Ronaldo another episode to be an asshole. See, and that's why they're friends, because they deserve each other, they're both assholes. But, um, you know, it's hopeful for Lars and Sadie. And, you know, we all know they've been, we all know they've been fucking, so. I'm just saying, they may have been fucking. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie and pretend that they're not prob they're not probably doing that. Again, the show's good at being subtle. And if you know where to pick, and you know where you're, and if you really know um, where to kind of go, go from there, you kind of get, you kind of can get a good thing, but to me, I just, again, I just hate Lars, I just hate Lars, I, kind you know, 
I like seeing the I like seeing the cool kids, Sour Cream, Buck, you know, Kiki, I like seeing them. Because they're again, I just want an episode with those guys. Another episode with those guys and Steven. Or those guys, Steven, and probably Paradox. That would be awesome. But this Lars one, it just showed really how fucked up Lars actually is when no when when we're when he isn't like a focus, like how detestable he is. He's a, I think he's he can be he's gonna be an alright person. Uh when the time comes. But for right now, he's just kind of an asshole. And he's not going to change in my eyes until he actually does something a little bit different. I like, yeah, and I was, I'm like Ostrich Box. I'm like, yeah, I'm kind of, it's kind of, you know, they kind of just conveniently say, oh, yeah, the Airbnb BC kind of like conveniently uh, just accept Steven's powers. Well, when you think about it, they saw freaking, they saw freaking polymorphic space rocks fighting each other. And everybody evacuated. So it's like, er, Beach City is already weird. So Beach City is already weird, and they kept it weird. Fucking, fucking Ronaldo. Every time we keep doing one of these videos, I keep saying Beach City is weird. I keep thinking about fucking Ronaldo. I'm glad he's not in any more episodes. I would fucking choke that motherfucker if he, if he was real. I, I, I'm not even kidding. <laughs> I get like. Okay, I would say Lars is already up there with, like, Naru in terms of detestableness. Naru is, like, at this, at the tippy top of my hate meter. Lars and, uh, Ronaldo are, like, here. But, like, I, I mean, yeah, Lars has some good moments in the freaking Island Adventure thing episode that I saw. Yeah, it do, he does have potential of being a good character. But the thing is, you know, they actually got to do another episode where he's actually trying to be a good person. Where it's not Steven controlling him, you know, making him good. It has to be him wanting to make himself good. Wanting to make himself a better person. And maybe, in my eyes, he'd be a little bit different. But as this episode goes... I just hated it. Honestly, I fucking hated it. It just, again, it just, you know, seeing, you know, as Steven was in his body, just knowing all the shit state say he had to go, like, goes through on a daily basis with Lars just pissed me off even further because it's like, motherfucker, just, just date the girl. Why you gotta be such a little dick? Date her. Fuck. Hate that bullshit. What you, Lars? It's not like you got any chicks on the side, motherfucker. Just, just date Sadie. You love her. Do it. Just fucking do it. Just do it. Make your dreams come true and fucking do it. Or I swear to God, we're gonna bring Fisto into the mix. You don't want us to bring Fisto, Lars. Fisto will destroy your little anus apart. Ozzy we don't have fish. What the fuck? Oh yeah, uh, I was looking at Fall in New Vegas and it's all Fisto, right? So I was like, okay, well, it would be awesome. And I built Fisto. Why did you build a fisting robot? Uh, because it was cool. No, I was building a fisting robot. Cool. Because we can, because unlike other people, we can actually go into other universes and probably give Lars a beatdown. To the chagrin of probably half of the Steven Universe fans that actually like Lars. Actually, that's a good idea. I know, right? So, um, you want to end this so we can get to, so we can get to the beatdown of the century. Okay. But if we're gonna do this, we gotta not let no one know. We gotta not let, we gotta not let the crystal gems in this universe know. Okay. All right.
See guys, we're going to teach Lars the true meaning of being a good person. The most violent way possible. So we'll see you tomorrow. Um, again, we don't know if that's the episode that they're going to air because our, the episode that aired isn't here yet. Which I actually thought there was going to be a lapis episode right, right here, but no. Actually, since... Actually, Bugsy, um... Anything else you want to talk about before we get out of here and show Lars the meaning of being a good person violently? Um... What else? And his parents are like... His parents are pretty... His parents are pretty fucking nice. Like, they actually care... Like, I would understand, like... The thing is with Lars... You know, I thought, you know, he, he's only an asshole because his parents are basic assholes. But really, they're not. And he's just an asshole for the sake of being an asshole, and that just pisses me the hell. That pisses me the fuck off. I mean, like, you know how many people would love to be in your situation, Lars? You know how many people would love being there? A lot of people. You just take that shit for granted. I think that's why I really hate him. Like, he really does, you know, even though Beat City is, you know, always under siege by certain corrupted gems and stuff like that and stuff of that nature, people would love to have what he has. And I feel like... The motherfucker takes that for granted and kind of takes Sadie for granted, and who knows if they're actually even gonna hook up. Though I did think I do think they fucked. Like no one will ever change my mind of what I actually thought that happened. You know, I really do think that they got into <laughs> they got into it. What if they would have got into it? It's it's still was still in like Lars's body. He would have he would have freaking passed. Me. He would have got through puberty pretty quickly. <laughs> But, you know, again, I just didn't like this episode. I was pretty I was pretty disappointed because the episodes I think that are going to happen don't happen yet. And I'm like, oh, I don't care about you, Lars. Fuck you. I mean, guys, you can like Lars as much as the next guy. But me, I'm just never going to like that. I'm never going to like that fucker for any reason whatsoever. I'll see you guys later. I'm Bugsy, and I'm signing off. Okay, on, let's go. Fisto. Why did you give him my voice? Because I thought it'd be funny. Fisto. This is weird. Change his voice. Change his voice. Oh, yeah. Fisto. Really? My Mario voice. You use my Mario voice to change his voice. Alright, you know what? Fuck it. Let's go. See you guys. We'll be back. Hopefully no hopefully no one at Beach City will know we what we'll do here. Probably they will, but eh, we're the we're we're, mother, we're motherfucking demigods. It's not like it's not like it's not like we can stop them from not knowing. The only person that will know is Lars and then he'll go insane because you'll think where they were coming from every time and we're actually not. So sorry guys, we'll see you later. Rest in peace, Lars's anus. You're about to be invaded by a gigantic fisting robot. Good night, sweet douchebag. See you guys later. Hopefully the next episode will be about Lapis and we can just go from there.